welcome dear viewers to the video on observations during dissolution run so whenever we are putting the formulation in the dissolution after that we, we should observe the formulation behavior inside the dissolution vessel so during the dissolution run for some uh, minutes we should see what is happening to the formulation if the formulation is ir type of formulation then the dissolution testing run for some minutes like from 30 minutes around to 1 hour or 120 minutes for some of the formulations and also for many hours if the formulations is extended release modified release or delayed release and we should observe these time points or behavior of the formulation at the specific time points what is happening to the formulation at initial for some time and how is the behavior of the formulation inside the dissolution vessel dissolution may be usp1 basket usp2 paddle usp3 or 4 the physical observations of the formulation in the dissolution apparatus or vessel or uh, basket uh, can give you the valuable information for the dissolution results and the product optimization so based on these results the the dissolution results can be interpreted and also the formulation optimization can be done see because dissolution is a performance testing for the formulation and dissolution is the test which gives you clear information about the product behavior in vivo so dissolution serve as a in vitro test to predict the in vivo behavior of the formulation so the observations have much more importance now what should we observe when we perform the dissolution so if you are putting the tablet or capsule in the dissolution that time observe the release pattern what is the release whether it is burst release that means release is happening quickly or it is taking some time or it is slowly eroding that also gives you information about the disintegrant action disintegrant behavior whether there is any swelling or swelling plus erosion pattern is there those type of patterns and the disintegration time is to be observed critically then also time to disintegrate the tablet or capsule into granules or fragments should be recorded time for complete solubilization of solubilization of the formulation if the formulation is tablet for example and it contains all the soluble excipients that time the tablet will completely disappear in the dissolution bowl if the formulation contains insoluble material that time the insoluble material will remain in the dissolution bowl and the api and other soluble material will get solubilized then also if the formulation is coated type of formulation then observe the time required for the film coat to open and to completely disappear also you should observe the opening pattern for the tablet and the capsule formulation that opening pattern will give you the information about how the film coating is behaving in the dissolution then observe the tablet to tablet variation in disintegration in the dissolution vessel so this disintegration is not like the dt test but this is the disintegration behavior of the formulation in the dissolution vessel then observe precipitation in any specific media of some ph so for some formulation it may happen that the precipitation may be observed or formation of cone or hip should be observed if you are working on to a uh, formulation with higher weight of uh, tablet for example uh, more than 500 mg if it contains insoluble material then the cone or hip may get formed sometime because of the dense density of the excipients the hip may get formed so that hip should be observed then whether that hip is rigid dense or it is moving that is very much important some of the formulation 
are formulated in tablet formulation with the tablet weight of around 1000 mg so those tablet may form hip and that hip may move slowly or may be rigid so based on that coning you can observe the hydrodynamics whether the hydrodynamics are sufficient for that formulation or not so based on the hydrodynamics of the fluid pedal rpm can be selected or increased and use of the peak vessel or dissolution with higher rpm or speed of the pedal can be done then observe floating of the tablet or capsules so if the tablet or capsules are floating then use the sinkers also observe the sticking of the tablet to the pedal or dissolution bowl so if the tablet is landing onto the dissolution bowl surface and it is not going in the center that time the dissolution variable variations will be there and if it is sticking to this side uh, as i am showing in pointer then this stick tablet will dissolve faster because here the hydrodynamics are more compared to the tablet landed at this point now tablet and capsule falling in each of the bowl sometimes the tablet get uh, stick to the opening and it doesn't fall into the bowl so you may get the variation in the results then movement of tablet or capsule or pellets so if you put a tablet or capsule here in the bowl and if it is moving around the pedal or moving inside the uh, dissolution medium then it may give different results then observe the film coating film opening pattern and time for the extended release modified release or delayed release tablets so whenever you are working on to the delayed release tablets or some coated formulation observe the film coating behavior then for osmotic tablet observe the time required for the polymer to come out of the tablet hole and swelling so for osmotic tablet there will be a hole drilled onto the surface of the tablet and through that tablet after complete weighting of the tablet the polymer will come out and up, up with that polymer the api will also come out and will get dissolved so these observations are important for formulation optimization as well as for the selection of dissolution parameters then observe the extended release tablet swelling and the erosion then check whether there is choking of the basket or clogging of the basket due to the formulation whether the basket is getting choked or whether the particles coming out of the formulation are falling from the basket mesh inside the dissolution bowl then also check size of the slowly eroding tablet in different time intervals then observe position of the tablet in the vessel or tablet landing as i mentioned if the tablet is landing here and it is not going inside the vessel at this point then it will have some different hydrodynamics because here it will get more fluid force and it will give faster dissolution results compared to the tablet which is falling at this point then observe any odd behavior of the dissolution bowl if the dissolution bowl is not fitted properly or that position is not proper then observe the spinning of the tablet or move, movement of the tablet or observe if the tablet is dancing then observe air bubbles in the media around the formulation observe foaming due to surfactant if you are using the surfactant and due to uh, that surfactant foaming is happening then that may lead to variation in the dissolution results also sometimes i have observed that uh, for getting the temperature in the specified range the dissolution uh, medium is filled into the bowl and then the uh, the pedal rpm is made like 200 rpm or 100 rpm so that the temperature can be attained quickly and once the temperature is achieved the tablet formulation or tablet uh, or capsule formulation is put into the dissolution bowl but confirm that some time should be there so that the media inside the vessel is not in the movement because you cannot observe that media is moving but inside the bowl that media will move 
and if you put the tablet sample at that time it will give variation in the results if you perform the dissolution of the same batch many times you can observe that the dissolution behavior is changing and that may be because of that media movement inside the bowl then observe pellicle formation or cross linking for the hard, hard gelatin capsules and for the coated type of formulations which are coated with the gelatin so this insoluble pellicle or thin film is formed so this is this uh, may lead to variation in the dissolution result and slower dissolution release so observe this type of things whenever the capsule formulation is being tested for dissolution observe the holding of the formulation in the sinker appropriateness of sinker or tablet holder these are the very simple observations and based on that you can select the appropriate sinker also observe volume in each vessel filter position whether there is filter or not sampling tube position and also check whether the dissolution apparatus is vibrating so vibration of dissolution apparatus should be checked check the worn out pedal or basket is being used or not if you are using worn out basket so that basket unit uh, that bowl will give you variation in the dissolution results and your RHD will get increased. So whenever you are performing these observations, you can also take the photos and videos so that uh, you can uh, see it properly and you can take the necessary action. And the reason for these observations I have enlisted here. Now uh, you think that if you think that why I should do the observation during dissolution run, I will check directly the results. But see, after getting the results, you will not be knowing why the unit to unit variation is there, why some tablets are faster uh, in dissolution and only one or two tablets are slow in dissolution, and why there is batch to batch non uniformity or day to day non uniformity in the dissolution results also you will not know why the percent rsd is more so these observations become very important these observations are required for selection of dissolution parameters if you observe the coning at 50 rpm then you can increase the pedal speed to 60 uh, rpm or 75 rpm you can also increase the or change the media volume then these observations are important for dissolution method development if in some of the media pH you you are getting the precipitation and because of that precipitation of the API you are getting the variation in the result then you should not use that media and you can change that media based on your observations then Justification for odd results and variation in the results can be given based on the basis of these observations. Formulation optimization can be done by observing the tablets and capsule formulation during dissolution run. And you can screen the prototype formulation and you can also select the prototype formula and process. Then if any regulatory query is there regarding the variation in the results or dissolution parameters those queries you can justify or your answers can be justified by these observations so this is uh, for the dissolution run observations always whenever you are going to perform the dissolution testing for uh, some time points or for initial time you should observe the formulation behavior inside the dissolution bowl. Also, you should observe any screen choke, choking in dissolution apparatus 3. If dissolution choking is there, if the choking of screen is there in the apparatus 3, then you will get variation in the results. So, these observations are very important. These observations will give you indication for changing the formulation, changing the media and changing the dissolution condition parameters or testing parameters. Whenever you are finalizing the 
resolution parameters that time you should have clear understanding about the formulation behavior inside the bowel during the dissolution testing or dissolution run so this is for the dissolution observations and i hope i have covered the maximum points thank you for watching the video kindly do like share and subscribe to pharma learning with a channel thank you